Hello YouTubes! Welcome to my 2019 Halloween yard and haunt tour. We're going to go outside in a couple minutes. I'm going to show you guys the yard, the graveyard, the swamp witch, all that stuff. Tomorrow is the big day, what we've all been waiting for as haunters. Uh, in a short 24 hours, all the kids are going to be coming through, running haywire, running amok, getting candy. It's going to be a freaking blast. It's going to be a full moon. I'm super thrilled. This is still going to be an epic Halloween. I put a lot of work into the yard. I put a lot of work in here. I'm going to show you guys both daytime and nighttime walkthroughs. We're going to do the daytime first, so stick around for the nighttime tour. So, hey, let's get out there. we got Halloween to do. Let's do it. Okay, YouTubes, here we go. We're in the yard, far corner of my yard. Walk up on the graveyard. We've got Mortimer standing out there. A lot of these tombstones are kind of old and falling apart. Now that we got those hot wire foam factory tools, I'm going to make a bunch more this year. We'll go check out Mortimer. He's just sitting there with his lantern. And uh, that one lights up at night. It's on a six hour timer. We've got Mortimer's shovel standing in the ground. And he's just been out here doing. Uh, doing his job as the grave digger. He's looked really cool the whole year. I think a lot of people slowing down and stopping looking at him. And in the back window of my garage or my shop, I got a blood red light that fills the, uh, the ground right there at nighttime, so it looks super creepy. Yeah, a lot of these tombstones need repair or they gotta go in the trash and we gotta make new ones. And then I've got my five gallon bucket uh, floodlight hider. I made this on my channel. Uh, last year it's still holding up really good and it's been outside for hell probably close to a month with rain and icy nights we'll scan through the graveyard oh there's fred 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 that's my groundbreaker fred we're gonna make a couple more next year with those zombie heads we got uh definitely gonna make some more tombstones a lot of these guys are falling apart and this is the tombstone i just built for anthony he was a YouTuber over at Deadwood Manor. He was only 29 years old and passed away of cancer uh, a few months ago. So super sad. So uh, he asked that all haunters make him a tombstone and put it in his haunt. That would be his highest honor. So he asked, I delivered, man. Uh, there goes my swamp, which is uh, staff laying on the ground. I got to dig that back in. So here's Damien hanging out right next to the little uh, swamp bugger. There's my uh, Demon Summoning Cauldron for the Witch. I didn't get a chance to make the Demon that pop up this year. So the Swamp Witch is still hanging there. And then I've got a 90 watt or 80 watt black light up in the peak of the garage that shines down. That really doesn't do much because it seems like it gets drowned out by the floodlight over there behind the uh, Anaconda's tail. So I do have the Anaconda out. He looks great. Let me make sure I don't step on all my cattails. Get all my dollar store cattails stuff, stuffed into the ground all around everywhere and then I've got my uh, headhunter skulls just sort of sitting on their uh, their spears that's my uh, swamp uh, swamp creature fish man that I got from Alan uh, last year or no I got it this year and I just put him on a stick this year so this will be his first year out and this is my area where I have all tall grass and stuff I've got my spirit jumping snake I swapped over this year. The kids will come looking by the nest with the eggs in it, and then bam, the snake will jump out of the grass and the weeds and get them. Let's see, so the kids will walk up this driveway, walk backwards down my property. Okay, so when you first walk up, you see I've got the uh, swamp witch right there by the side of the driveway and then the graveyard. And then I've got the headless horseman. I got a red floodlight on him. You guys will see that at night. I have to pull those pumpkins in because it's going to be windy today. Man, it's horribly windy. But uh, he's looking great. He stood up well out here for probably close to a month. And I've got a video on my channel how I made him. So I got some heads down there and pumpkins for him. And I got a little floodlight in the back of here. So next up, we've got the mummy as the kids are walking up. Made him many, many years ago out of scrap wood. And that's a Target mummy, just foam-filled latex. And I've got a green light down in the corner of his uh, coffin that shines on him. And then behind him, I've got Carlos the werewolf just chilling out in the yard. Man, the kids love him. The delivery men love him. He's just sitting here hanging out. Man, that wind is something else. So once the kids get past all these three, the Headless Horseman, the Mummy, and Carlos, they're going to see a little man standing out by the garage. I got a sheet to block off the door. I'll probably put some uh, 
black light chalk writing on a thing saying enter on the driveway. I got my gargoyles outside from Spirit. And the kids will walk in the hole here and they'll walk into the shop, as you guys will see in a little bit. There's another gargoyle and there's a little man. Little man, little man, ready for trick or treat? I'm sure you are. All right guys, I'm gonna wait for it to get dark and then we're gonna go inside the shop and take a look at everything. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, night has fallen. Look at the back of my workshop. Here's the graveyard, there's a swamp witch. Let's walk through and take a look. In the back window of the shop, I've got a red light pointed at the window, and I've got the old uh, bat I bought at uh, Old Time Pottery. So you can see the logo for C, so you can see that all the way from the street. Thing looks super cool with the, with the blood and the blood red window. Take a walk to the graveyard. See some of my uh, tombstones. I'm really excited now that I got the hot wire foam factory tool. Next year I want to get some more tombstones. So most of these are guys who are going bye bye and getting retired. So there's Mortimer. I got one of those Menards lanterns up there that kicks on by itself and runs every night. Got Mortimer creeping out here. He's just chilling in the graveyard. Been out here for, man, probably about four weeks, a month maybe. And then behind the tombstones, I just hide my fire and ice lights. So I'm really happy with the graveyard this year. It looked really cool. The next year, I really like to double it. Here's the graveyard. We'll sweep across, head towards the swamp witch. Fred! There's Fred! My little groundbreaker Fred. Here's the tombstone I built for Anthony at Deadwood Manor. As a tribute to him, he asked that all haunters if the uh, they could build a lantern in his name, in his memory. He said that'd be awesome. That was his final wish. And I got another tombstone back there that's fogging. Man, the wind is picking up. It's about to rain too. It's horrible. All right, whoo, man. All right, I got Damien. He's just sitting here chilling next to the swamp witch, looking in the pot. No demon this year. I didn't have time to make the animatronic. I've got my 80 watt black light up there. Damien's all painted in black light, but you can't really tell because I think it's overpowered by the yellow floodlight. So let me take a step back. There's Damien. There's the Swamp Witch looking into her cauldron. I do have a green fire and ice light in there. You can see I've got the uh, anaconda out and the tail hides the floodlight. I've got my uh, headhunter heads. And then there's the uh, mask that uh, Alan did for me. I just mounted it on a stick. I've got a video on that somewhere on my channel. But that's the one half of the yard. Take a fast peep around. And I've got little cattails plugged in the ground. All the cattails I bought from uh, Dollar Tree this year. Oh, there's a little a little swamp uh, bog zombie too. Chilling out there. It catches some of the yellow uh, floodlight. Let me back up some. All right, but that's the witch and all my uh, skulls. Need to tune those up next year. There's Damien. At least I got one demon out here. There's the whole graveyard, and Mortimer buried back there. Just chilling in the back. Next year I need to uplight him. He needs more of a, uh, a center stage. Ain't that right, Mortimer? Well, you creepy bastard, just chilling in the dark. All right, let's go see the other side of the driveway. Okay, now we're back on the edge of the driveway where the kids will walk up. There's the graveyard and the swamp witch. And on the left-hand side of my driveway, is my headless horseman. I got a red floodlight on him, hidden by a uh, pumpkin and a, a floodlight behind it. See, I got him hiding back there, sticking out so you can't see it. I've got a couple of little zombie heads and stuff by him, a big giant pumpkin I got from Halloween City a couple of years ago, and then the metal pumpkin. And I got him bathed in just a red, blood red floodlight. So, he looks great outside, a lot of cars slow down. Wonder what the hell is going on over here. I tried the fire and ice, you couldn't see any details on him. So I went to just regular floodlight. He's got his big old Monster X. All right, we'll continue up the driveway just like the kids would. I've got a wooden half coffin with a mummy I got in there from Target, like man, probably eight years ago. It's a foam filled latex one. And I got a green fire and ice light down in there by him. So he's right next to the uh, Headless Horseman. Swing over. 
And then we got Carlos the Werewolf, just chilling out in the dark. I got a big skull I got from Myers a few years ago. Got all Carlos and all his upgrades. Got a green fire and ice on him. I like to do maybe Violet Langster. I don't have really any purple lighting in my haunt. But that's the left hand side of my driveway. So as the kids walk up, they pass through the gauntlet of Carlos and the Swamp Witch. And they'll walk up to the shop over here where I've got my gargoyles. And I got Little Man in the Dark. What's up, Little Man? What's up? You gotta wait till tomorrow for candy. So I got my gargoyles flanking the door. I got a black sheet there. I'm gonna continue that black sheet into the garage once the garage door is open. So the kids will walk right through here between the gargoyles and Little Man. So let's go inside the shop and I'll show you guys what I set up in there. Okay guys, we made it into the workshop. When the kids walk through the garage door, they're gonna see the table right there in front of them. I'm gonna have the pumpkins lit beneath them. I got a couple more to stick by the uh, Headless Horseman out there, but uh, it was too windy tonight. So there's my spirit mask I got hung up on the wall. I'm gonna block out that, uh, that uh, locker with a sheet. I've got all the potion bottles lit up on my black light shelf. Uh, those are the kids' treat bags. We'll go through that in a little bit. So the kids will walk up to the table, grab a treat bag, and they'll see the brain in the jar. They'll see my headless victim with the big old monster meat syringe sticking out. I got a bunch of the props I built this year. My devil skull, my book of the dead, uh, just a black light uh, bottle potion. I got some uh, black and white notes over there. I got a whole body over here, some bloody uh, work gloves on top. Then over here we've got the board I built for all the magnets, the magnetic monster board. And we've got Jerry and uh, Lemmy underneath. There you go, boys. You can see the black light jumps out on them. Come on, boys, ham it up. See, one's got red eyes, one's got yellow. And then the kids will come up after they get their treat bag off the table. They get to come up and choose a magnet, any one they want. So we've got the pumpkin down there. we got Drac in the corner. I got a little candle by him. I'll be back in my chair if the kids need anything. Here's the other side of the table. I got an ear and some fresh blood in there. I got some uh, surgical utensils. I just want the kids playing with that. That's just a belt wrapped around the uh, victim's feet. And we got Wolfie on the wall, terror pin. We got the possum hanging. It's foggy in here because I got fog going. I'm going to fog the hell out of this place. And I got a couple of candles lit. I got my Grim Reaper from, uh, oh, Michaels? Michaels. I got him this year. Come on, brother. Do something. Do something. Do something. Whatever. He was working earlier. Okay. And then I got my back bench all lit up. I got my Frankenstein bust, a couple of candles on there. Got my gargoyles. Oh, I should turn my little uh, gargoyles little blue lights up there. Those little guys got blue lights. So this is my uh, Toscano Design Reaper. I've had him for a bunch of years. I put him out every once in a while. That's under the counter, all the under counter lighting. And I may play with it. I may put it on blink or put it on a fade or something like that. And if you look out the back window, I got a bunch more props hanging. That's what shines out to the backyard that you can see from the street. So that's the shop. Everything's really cool. I'm really happy with the lighting and all. I think the kids are really going to dig it this year. I've got my little bat family up here. So I got the fire bat I built this year. Chill, Jerry and Lemmy. And I got another spirit bat. This guy's probably 20 years old. There we go. Right, he'll go off and the kids come to get their, uh, pick their magnet. So I am really just thrilled with all this. I think it looks great. The fog's still dying down, but that's what the kids are gonna see Halloween night. So uh, let me turn the lights on. Let's open a, let's open a treat bag and see what we're giving away this year. All right, YouTubes, let's see. What does Cobwebs give away for Halloween when you come to my house? April made all the treat bags up. We got uh, some Doritos. Got a full-size Reese's bar, some candy bars, licorice, almond joy. Some of the bags got uh, Pringles in them, Rice Krispie treats, uh, more Rice Krispie treats, some Cheez-Its, so it's not all candy. Oh, uh, we got the McDonald's coupons that you give away. Those are pretty cool, so the kids can go get a, a free treat from McDonald's. It is a Starburst. I hate Starburst. I hate Smarties. Licorice. Snickers. I love Snickers. Um, but that's what we're giving away this year. That's our treat bags. So uh, 
I'm sure the trick-or-treaters would be happy with that. It's not all candy to rot their teeth, a couple of cold snacks in there, and then they get their magnet. So uh, I think I'm just about done. Uh, let me turn this thing around and say goodbye. Okay, YouTubes. That is my 2020 haunt and workshop tour. You guys saw the graveyard, the swamp witch, everything I've worked on this year. Uh, it's been a blast this year. I thank you for all the new subscribers. I thank you guys for commenting and for putting up with my antics. Uh, it was a different year this year. The COVID kind of uh, kind of put us all for a loop. So I'm glad we could all hang in there and keep the spirit of Halloween going. Uh, the spirit of Halloween does not die as of tomorrow because tomorrow's Halloween. Um, I'm going to keep on building after Halloween, all through the year, all the way till next year. Uh, same as the Trio of Terror guys, we've got so much stuff planned. There's so much stuff we didn't get to this year. And I've got a hundred new ideas of stuff I want to build for next Halloween. So I thank you guys all for watching and subscribing and liking. If you guys are building your projects over the wintertime, put them on Cobwebs and Candlesticks on Facebook. Put them on Trio of Terror on Facebook. Go check out my brothers in the trio, uh, Dave at the Weird Kid Show channel and Vic on Monster Misfits. Guys, we're not stopping. Tomorrow doesn't end for us. Tomorrow's only the beginning. It's preseason for next Halloween, uh, day after tomorrow. So I thank you guys for tuning in and putting up with me. And now the bat goes off. But I thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a happy and safe Halloween. Um, this COVID can't let it take us down, man. We just got to keep on doing what we do and be Halloween people. Man, that bed is just totally fucking obnoxious. All right, folks. I will see you again soon. Have a safe and happy Halloween, man. Thank you, guys. I'm going to beat that thing with a damn bat. Keep it evil.